Greetings and welcome to Advanced Chemistry. Focus on the practicals. Today, I would like to let you understand or give you the guide on how to prepare a good standard solution. First, you have to understand the equipment used in the preparing of this standard solution, which are those equipment. Right in front of me, you can see a volumetric flask. That's a 250 cm volumetric flask. We have a beaker here. That's a 100 ml beaker. We have a funnel and a stirrer. Also, what do we have? We have our weighed mass. How do you do that? First, you have to clean your equipment and rinse them with distilled water only. Especially this equipment. Nothing should ever touch this equipment apart from distilled water in the course of cleaning or rinsing it. What do you have to do as far as preparing the salad solution is concerned? The first thing is that you have to dissolve your weighed mass into a small amount of water in the beaker. And anytime you get your mass, make sure your mass doesn't fall off, fall down. If it falls down, some of the grains might fall, fall off, reducing the, reducing the mass which you have been given. So you have to be attentive as far as the mass is concerned. Now, after that, what do you do? You open it gently, gently, and pour your mass into a small, small amount of water in the beaker. And uh, you rinse the weighing bottle several times. Rinse the weighing bottle several times to make sure that all the particles or all the grains of your salt or of your mask has been removed from the weighing bottle. Do that several times. When it is set, you keep that aside and get your stirrer, which is also been cleaned. You try to dissolve the salt. You have to notice that there are some salts in the lab, we call them stubborn salts. Those are salts that when you want to dissolve them, they take a longer time to, to dissolve. So with those type of salts, you can warm them, you can take them to a Bunsen burner flame to warm it because you know that heat uh, temperature uh, affects solubility. So an increase in temperature will de definitely make the salt dissolve faster. And when that is done, you are salt, you are done your salt, as you can see here, Use your funnel and transfer it to a small amount to the volumetric flask. You don't have to wait for all your salt to dissolve in the uh, beaker before you transfer all. As part of it is being dissolved, you can be transferring gradually, taking care not to spill anything out. Because you have to employ uh, precautionary uh, techniques to avoid spilling your salt. Even one drop of this water going out can lead to wrong results or faulty results. So you can rinse that several times, several times, and empty your washings or your rinse into the volumetric flask. When that has been done, carefully, carefully, you don't have to spill things out. When that has been done, you can now try to adjust your uh, solution up to the mark. Assuming that I have raised my equipment well, I want my funnel, the stirrer, and rinse it as well to make sure I am safe. I keep that aside. Then I proceed. Yeah. One thing that most labs always do is most labs have what we call the uh, wash bottle. But now I will not recommend you to be using the wash bottle. Reason being that the wash bottle, most of the time, do not remove drops of water as required. It instead removes jets of water. For instance, if I want to remove a drop, I instead remove a jet. With that, I can easily pass the mark of my volumetric flask, and that will make me to have a good salad solution. So I can now proceed with my normal technique, which I've developed, making sure I do not exceed the mark. I didn't exceed the mark. I go on. I proceed. I proceed here. Proceed. I'm still using the beaker I used in the preparing of the standard solution. So that in case there were still any drop left there, I can easily rinse them into my volumetric flask. So you can see me doing that. As I'm approaching the mark, I need to be very careful. I need to be very careful not to exceed the mark. The mark is somewhere here. The mark is right up here. So I'm still a bit far down. I need to gauge my 
my water. And we always use distilled water in the lab because other water such as uh, mineral water can affect the results of your uh, reactions. I'm almost approaching my uh, mark. So I can now use place my eyes parallel to it and I'm adding just drops. I don't need to pour much. I add just drops. Drops. Right, correct. I am on the mark now. What do I do next? I now stop her and shake. Stop her and shake to have a homogeneous solution. So what I have here now is a standard solution of sodium carbonate. 